Hi, my name is Stephanie Berkmeyer, and I'm a 3D specialist too here at Browseware. I have been at Browseware for about two and a half to three years, and I've been on the technical side doing training, support, garment creation, everything in between. Before Browseware, I was in New York City where I was working as a designer. I was also doing some 3D there using Browseware, um, and now I'm here and I'm super excited to share some tips with you. The tip that I'll be showing you today is going to be housing your materials utilizing the U3MA libraries. In this tip, I'm going to be showing you asset management. It's a um, gap in a lot of people's 3D workflows, and this is going to really maintain um, your assets in a nice organized way and also increase productivity between the users and the organization overall. As you can see on my screen, there are some materials that I've added here, as well as seams and artwork. You'll want to open up a browser file and add in all of your materials that you're going to want in your library. So you can see I'm adding another artwork file just showing how to use that drop down and how to import those. Checking to just make sure that I have everything that I need. And then I'm going to go ahead and do File, Export Material Libraries, and as the packed U3M library. This is going to export all of the materials out of the software into a folder that I can save on my desktop. As it's exporting those, it's going to export them all into one folder. So I'm going to need to organize those into a separate folder with subfolders. It exported as colorway one. You can see all of the different materials in there saved as a .u3ma file type. I'm also going to create a second folder that is going to house my materials in a more organized fashion. So creating the new folder and naming it what I would like. And I'm going to add the subfolders of knit, I'm going to add woven. And then I'm also going to add in here some seams and artwork. Once I have created those folders that I want, I'm then going to go back to that exported folder of colorway one, and I'm going to drag and drop or copy over the different materials in the designated folders. So I'm going to select all of my graphic artworks and place them inside that folder. I'm then going to go back to my other folder of trims and find all of the trims that I needed. And I'm going to do the same for my seams. I'm going to do the same for my knits and wovens as well, breaking out those fabrics into different types. Now you can do this anywhere you want with your materials, whatever you see um, is going to be fit for your organization. Um, this is just an example of doing all the different materials here. Once I have my new library, I'm going to go back into vStitcher and I'm going to go to my libraries tab and next to it under that drop down, I'm going to click add libraries. On my desktop, I'm going to find my folder of the libraries. So I have my new library right there. If I just select one of the subfolders, you can see it's only going to import that subfolder. So my other folders are not opening. When I add that library, I actually want to add the entire new library. And then you can see the subfolders are broken out into that downloaded area. Now the little cloud with the download button just means it's going to be living within our software. So we can actually click on that cloud and download anything into our file. So I'm gonna clear out this file just so that you can see I have nothing downloaded. Deleting all of these unused materials. Now going back to my libraries, I can click on any of those clouds and it's going to download it from my new library back to my garment. So you can see it works very similar to the cloud library, but it's just going to be working within your software. I can change out my file and I can do the same thing. So no matter what file you're using, that library that you've imported will always remain there for you as long as you do not change the location of the parent folder. So as you can see, that tip was super helpful um, and hopefully you enjoyed that and we'll be able to integrate it into your current workflow and happy stitching.